In this video, we will see how we can use sequence structures in LabVIEW. Sequence structures are used to create sequences in LabVIEW like the ones we see in text-based languages. Text-based languages follow lines of code, line number one, execute first, followed by line number two, and then line number three, and so on. LabVIEW, on the other hand, follows the data flow paradigm. So some people use sequence structures to enforce that flow, line by line flow that we see in text-based languages, which is not suitable for LabVIEW's data flow paradigm. But there are some uses for sequence structures, valid uses, which we will see in this video. So our first example code would be a benchmarking uh, code which will uh, find the execution time that a piece of LabVIEW code takes. For that we will use a flat sequence structure. Let's place it. In the first frame, we will be using take count vi. This will give us use the simple one. This will give us the time at the beginning of the uh, code execution. Next we will add a new frame. frame. Here we'll, we will place our benchmarking code which can be a sub VI or uh, the actual code. In, in, this, in this case we will just simulate a VI that suppose uh, for example takes about let's say 1000 millisecond then add frame after and in this frame we will place the take count vi again to find out the time in ticks that occurred after the vi uh, we will subtract these two times the ending time subtracted from the starting time and this will give us create an indicator the benchmarking execution time for the code that we have placed here so let's uh, uh, run this uh, code and see how much time uh, this code takes exactly 1000 millisecond let's let's uh, increase it to 2000 two seconds let's run it so this can act uh, this uh, code can help you with benchmarking uh, your vi's so that you can find out what time your code is taking so that you can modify it and then again benchmark it benchmark it to see if your required time is being met so let's go and uh, uh, see how we can use uh, sequence structures in another way uh, let's place some error in and error out terminals then we will create a flat 
sequence structure for example there are several uh, lab view codes for example one button dialog this dialog this does not have any error in or error out so if it is placed uh, in parallel then it will launch um, whenever the code executes to make some order suppose we want this part to execute first then this part and then then this part then we can place it inside a sequence structure to create an order let's uh, create a constant um, So if we run this code, then this executed, then our dialog box appeared and then the error out emerged. So we can use this uh, sequence structure to create an order where wires cannot error wires cannot be used